Hi everyone, Casey here from Home Quarters and in today's episode of Blockbuster, we are at District 10. We're introducing to you and featuring Leaden Green. If let's say you do love trekking and hiking and love the HSBC treetop walk, you'll be in for a surprise and you'll definitely love Leaden Green. Why? In this condominium, inside the development itself, we have our own treetop walk. So don't need to go over there. You have it right here. So let's check it out with us. Let's go. If you are keen to arrange a viewing here at Leiden Green or any other new launch development here in Singapore, do call me KC at 8809-2889 or follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube at HomeQuartersSG and do remember, subscribe, like if this gives you value. So talk about the location itself, like I mentioned just now, it is located in District 10. First up for families, you are actually, one of the blocks is actually 1km away from the famous Nanyang Primary School. The rest of the blocks are within 2km away. So definitely you have that advantage if let's say you are getting your primary school, primary one going child into there. As for working adults, one north area is just down the road. So if let's say you are staying in here or have workplace at the one north Buena Vista business district area, this is a really convenient area. Right, so if let's say you're staying in here, you do not want to cook, right, you just want to go head downtown for some wine and dine, you can actually head down to Dempsey area, the very famous food and wine area, or if not, just take a quick drive down to the main orchard road area as well. Of course, if let's say you are a nature loving family, right, Singapore Botanic Garden, one of our three national gardens, is right smack here as well. Next, we're going to talk about the developer here, right? Developer is MCL Land, which is a Hong Kong land company. They have been in Singapore for quite some time, right? One of the notable development they have done is the actuary all the way to the most recent Park Estar at Yunos MRT. Right in the past life, before Leiden Green is Leiden Green, right? It used to be called Tunip Gardens, right? It is sold on block to a joint venture between MCL Land and also Yen Lot Land. Yen Lot Land is a company incorporated in Singapore that focuses on high and fully fitted residential units. So with these two big powerhouse coming together, joint forces, I think Leiden Green will have a really, really nice landscaping, architecture, and also great interior for you that are looking to stay here. Or if let's say you are looking to rent out for your tenants as well. Here we are at the show model of Leiden Green. We are in District 10, freehold development, 638 unit, seven exclusive block. We have one bedroom all the way to four bedroom and also garden villas. First up, when we come into the development, we have to pass by the grand entrance, right? Grand entrance is how you do feature at the centerpiece of the grand entrance. We do have an amazing sculpture. Also for Linden Green, we have a full concierge service right here at the entrance itself, right? Follow me. I do love that it is an underground basement car park, meaning that everything above ground is all full facilities. And like I mentioned at the start, at the beginning, we do have a treetop walk right inside Leiden Green. After saying all this, if let's say you're keen to buy here for investment, right, do stay tuned to part two of this blockbuster series featuring Leiden Green where we talk and dive deeper into the capital upside, the rental you and where all the tenants will come from and whether Leiden Green makes sense as a short term, medium term or long term investment. All right, back here to Leiden Green itself. I do love that because it's a luxurious aluminium, right? Space is of the essence here. The developer and architect definitely placed a lot of emphasis on that. They have placed the building and tower such that you will not be looking into each other. And this placement of the building and towers itself do promote a lot of airflow and allow lights to come in, meaning that all units will be bright and breezy. So we gotta talk about facilities when you are at Leiden Green, right? Just on my right side, you can see that throughout this space, we have a lot of blue, meaning there's a lot of water feature and pool here. First up, we here, we're gonna see that there are a lab pools. Moving ahead, we have a play pool. Most likely, it will be a shallower pool for children to use. Here, we of course have the grand pool. So Lantern Terrace, as the name suggests, there'll be lantern, right? Put on terraces and there's a little bit of the water feature. Moving along, we can see that in Leiden Green itself, it is fronting Leiden Heights and also Holland Road. You can do entry here or along Holland Road. Same thing for exit as well. There are also two other side gates right on the other side along Farrer Road. 
As you can see here, this sign gate leads to a bus stop. If let's say it is raining, you want to take bus to Arrow Road MRT Station or go down to Holland V MRT Station, it's possible to take a bus stop either on this side or walking along on the other side gate. The developer is actually going to install a cover on way all the way to the overhead bridge, which you are fully covered from the development side gate to the opposite bus stop. At Block 28, we do have the gymnasium studio and also the grand dining area. Moving along on this space, right at Block 34, we also have the Sky Terrace, the family cabana for the entire family to enjoy. And also with other pavilions and facilities scattered and peppered all around the development. Welcome to One Plus Study Layout here at Leiden Green. 538 square feet of space. Let's see what you get. Alright, first up, I do love this kitchen area. So normally if you are in a one bedroom or other development, you only usually cut off here. But in Leiden Green, the developer choose to have the interior on a L-shaped kind of layout, right? Separating this sink from the hood itself. One interesting thing here is that the developer have actually chosen the brands that are really good at what they do on each of its appliances. So you actually don't get uniform appliances brand all throughout the kitchen area. For example, this sink is from Frank. The mixer is from Hans Grohe. The oven hop and hood is from Berserk. And also, usually if let's say the presenter is not able to pronounce the name of the appliances, you know that you know, it is a of origin um, overseas. And this uh, built-in fridge is from, uh, let me try to pronounce, right? Le Beher. I hope, I hope I didn't pronounce it uh, wrongly. So pardon my uh, pronunciation there. Right, I think interestingly for this kind of kitchen layout, you are able to erect a glass panel right in front of you. You are also able to kind of close up the kitchen. If let's say you do prefer a little bit of heavy cooking. One thing to caution is that if let's say you were to close up this entire kitchen, because there is no window in this space itself, you have to duck and vent it out from the balcony itself. All right, let's move on to the living area. I think the living and dining area makes a lot of sense. Usually for one plus study, you will be either a very, very small family, either a young couple with a kid, a small kid, or just a couple, or just a single itself. So I think a two to four seater dining table that will be put in here with a little bit of chandelier, which is what the developer has done. A good size of a living room space here. If you are putting in your TV or your smart TV over here and enjoying Netflix session with friends, family, etc. This is a good space. All right, I would like that it's longish. So if you want to change out and put your dining area over at the balcony area, it is possible because on top, you actually have your ceiling. If you would like to change up this and use it as part of your living room space, typically we would actually advise the zip track to shelter so that even rain or shine, you are able to use this space over here. How we do it? Because there is a drop over here. You can actually put timber decking across on the floor, raise up the floor so that you wouldn't have that drop when you come into the balcony space itself. Okay, moving along, let's move on to the master bedroom area, shall we? Here at the master bedroom, it is a full length window, but it is tinted at the bottom because right outside it is the AC LED. This is a queen size bed. You are still able to put in two bedside tables. The wardrobe itself, you can see that there is an internal sensor light has already been installed for you. It's full length as well, meaning that you don't waste the top half of your wardrobe. As with it trending right now, it is good that there are a accessory rack over here, meaning that you do not have to buy a mirror because it has been given by the developer and it is a full blank mirror. So pardon me while I check out myself. So that's it for the master bedroom itself. Let's move on because this is a one plus study layout. There is a study table over here. This of course will become empty, right? With white walls. So if you want to, you can actually mimic what the developer has done. Put in a built-in table over here and do your work right here in your own place. But alternatively, cut out this space to be a little bit of a utility and storage space, right? You still can have a little bit of small table over here or cabinets. This little space here could be alternatively used this way. Okay, coming into the bathroom itself, nowadays it is quite usual to have this sort of size of 
the bathroom itself. It's not too big, it's within regulation, meaning that a wheelchair needs to be come in and turn one round and have this because of the aging population, because of BCA ruling. One interesting thing is that the towels at the shower area is quite interesting. Of course, what less would you expect from a luxurious development like Leiden Green? All the floors in the living and dining area, the toilet, and also the toilet wall towel are of premium marble. So that's it for one plus study. Let's move on to the two bedroom. Welcome to the 2 Plus study here at Leiden Green, right? Overall, I think this is a great size and layout. The total square feet is 818 square feet, very, very livable. Let's check out the kitchen first, shall we? For this kitchen itself, we have an induction stove, hob from Vizerk, hood as well, and also a full oven. Same thing here as the 1 Plus study layout, you have a L-shaped kitchen layout over here, but instead of a single sink, we have a double sink over here. We have a uh, the beer. I, I wouldn't kind of um, uh, mispronounce this, but th this brand of uh, fridge over here is top of the line, right? It's all built in, right? So it's seamlessly integrated into the kitchen cabin over here. Coming into the unit itself, we have the dining area. Definitely good enough space where the developer has put in here a round table for four people. Definitely a six-seater is possible here as well. Coming into the living area, it's good space for the entire family. You can put in an L-shaped couch over here for the entire family to enjoy your Netflix, right? Coming into the balcony itself, I do love that it extends out into the study area. Over here, one good thing is that the ceiling has already been done up for you. So if you want to put in that zip track, it is quite easy for you to do so. And also decked out the entire place such that if be it rain or shine, you are able to enjoy this entire space, extending your living out into this balcony space over here. I think what the developer has done and suggested is very clever, right? So instead of having the actual study area, probably you want to hang down this entire wall and extend out this entire living area by eating up that study space over there. Meaning that instead of having the dining area over here, you could actually have your dining area over here and your living area over here. Effectively making this 2 plus study layout, having instead of a portrait kind of layout into a landscape dining and living space. Come on in, let's check out this master bedroom of this 2 plus study. I do love that it is really, really, really livable. Coming inside here, we have a full length window over here, right? More lights can come in. Well, more wind can come in. You are able to put in a king size bed. Still able to put in the bedside table. Good height ceiling. We have a sliding wardrobe. Inbuilt lights already been done for you. Probably his and hers. And this is kind of trendy layout over here. We have the accessory case with the built-in mirror already, right? Of course, when we are here in the master bedroom, we have to talk about the ensuite bathroom. Laid out with all the marble wall tile and also floor tile alongside with the countertop space has already been marble beating as well. Drop basin, meaning that it's easy to clean up after. Mirror has already been provided for you together with the storage space right behind. What I do love about this bathroom is that you have this window over here, which is becoming a rarity because a uh, window in the bathroom, last time it is a given, but right now because of space constraint and also layout constraint, it is very difficult to put in that window in all of the bathroom in the development. Okay, coming in here, let's check out the second bedroom, right? Second bedroom over here, also featuring a full length window while you are able to put in a single bed with bedside table. Meaning that even if you put in a queen size bed, pushing it all the way near to the edge of the room here, you are still able to put in a bedside table. Wardrobe has already been done for you. Good height ceiling, engineered timber in the common bedroom space. Okay, coming into the bathroom, it is not too shabby, right? It is almost exactly the same configuration and fittings as with the master bathroom. Let's check out the last space, which is the study area. Traditionally, a study area, but if you would like to, you can actually extend out into the living room like I mentioned just now. This study is what people would like to call a two plus one. The one is a study. So you can actually erect a wall and also a door here to make this an actual bedroom space. One thing that strikes me as a very beautiful in this development show gallery is this. Right, this is a mock-up of what you will see in the Lantern Terrace in Leiden Green as it eventually completes. Check it out.
scale we are at a 3 bedroom exclusive layout. It's 1,356 square feet with a private foyer area. Here we have a swing door. You come into the unit. First up, you are greeted with your living area and also your dining space. And also on this side, you have a long balcony space. Coming over on this side, it does extend all the way to one of the common bedroom, meaning that whoever that is staying in here have the luxury of coming out to their own balcony as well. But you know, a little bit of privacy issue, you might want to put in a little bit of screen here, right? Or planter here, right? To separate out their balcony from the common balcony. Coming back here to the living area, I do love is that there's a lot of configuration that you can do because all of this, when you have bought it, will be space for you to envision and play with. Where I am standing is close to the middle of the space here. If you would like, you can actually put your dining table here as what the developer have done, right? Alternatively, you can put your dining area over here because it is not too far away from the kitchen itself. Let's check out the kitchen area, shall we? For the exclusive type, we have a dry kitchen, induction hop, and the hood is here and a full oven right here in the dry kitchen itself. I think this is almost a full functioning kitchen already. Look here, we have a smart mirror over here. So this is getting in trend and very trendy over here. You can actually serve out YouTube videos, etc. If let's say you are, you know, spice thing up and watch out for other kind of recipe, maybe Gordon Ramsay and the likes, you can actually follow their recipe while you are here in the dry kitchen prepping, right? Coming into the wet kitchen itself, we have a three good flame burner over here. Of course, we do need the hood, right? In order to suck up all the fumes up to the ceiling itself so that you don't choke you. A much larger sink over here as compared to the dry kitchen itself. Plenty of countertop space for you to do your chopping, peeling, etc. etc. Right, coming into this space, where I'm standing in is the utility cum yard itself. One good thing here is that you have a window, meaning that if let's say you're storing a lot of your own spices as at the light here in the utility room itself, changing it into a storage space, there is a little bit of ventilation so that you wouldn't turn moldy. Coming back into the space itself, of course you got a wide fridge here and here. Essentially you have a wine chiller possible to come in here as well. Right, coming into the bedroom, Definitely got to check out in the crown jewel of Leiden Green. We have to look at the master bedroom space. As you would expect, full timber flooring, full length window with the king size bed installed over here. You still have more than sufficient space for the two bedside table. The ceiling height is absurd, right? It's beautiful high spacer. As you can see, all the AC here are ducted. So you don't see the AC unit that is wall mounted. This is all actually internally inducted. So this is what you usually find on higher end luxurious apartment and of course you'll find it here in Leiden Green. All right, we're going to come into a walk-in wardrobe. I think a lot of, of ladies out there will like it as well. Good enough space, very very big. This is almost one normal wardrobe size. Here they put it as a for the ladies. I think we men nowadays like to dress up as well. We also need a big wardrobe to put in all uh, our shoes, you know, our favorite caps and, and uh, suits and jacket and all. Uh, this additional cabinet here, right, for uh, you to, to play with depending on who have more clothes. Right, coming into the bathroom itself, again, not surprisingly, full marble, right, even on the wall tower itself is a marble finishing. Right, a bathtub which is very rare to get a bathtub on a three bedroom nowadays already. It's really a luxury nowadays. Right, this is a his and her sink. You also have a standing shower for you to have a quick shower and then head out there. Of course, practicality purpose, we also have a window over here. So one of the most luxurious three bedroom bathroom that I have seen in recent time, right? Let's move on to the two common bedroom. You have a full length window, right? Allow a lot of lights and also breeze to come in. Let's say you're not one turning on the AC throughout. Oh, one thing to note is that in the master bedroom itself, it is a full ducted AC and also in the living and dining area. But of course, in the common bedroom, we have the normal wall mounted AC system. With the three bedroom exclusive unit layout, we have a full on timber 
in all of the bedrooms, right? Moving along to the next bedroom itself, this is, I guess, for the guys. One thing great about this room is that it leads directly to the balcony space itself. These two common bedrooms actually shares a bathroom, and which is this common bathroom over here. Wall tile has been provided for you. Usually on the common bathroom will be a normal WC, but here they provide a drop WC as well, meaning that it's very easy to wash as well. All the countertop space is also marble in material. Welcome to the four bedroom exclusive layout type here. It is 1,496 square feet, close to 1,500 square feet of space, right? I think this is really livable, right? Of course, you have a private lift, it's where you are standing at right now. As you exit the lift itself, you will be greeted by this foyer area. Coming in through the foyer area, you'll be at the dining and living space. I think this sort of layout, what I term to be a landscape layout, this sort of layout actually gives this entire space feeling more grand, more white, more spacious, and more bright and breezy. All this, you will have a sliding door that opens up to the entire space. Living room is usually placed here, right? Dining room is over there. First up, we're gonna talk about the balcony space. Right now, you can see that uh, living and dining extend fully out to this balcony space. If you really want to, you can deck out this entire extended balcony space area, put in your blinds and zip track and fully utilize this ex extended living and dining space. This balcony extend all the way to one of the common bedroom. You are able to put in a little bit of separation or alternatively straight up put out a blind here to separate out the communal balcony from the personal balcony over here. All right, so that's it for the balcony space. Let's move on to talk about the living space. The developer has put in the living area here and also dining area here so that you are able to watch the TV that is wall mounted here. But if you are conservative and traditional, normally where I will be standing at here will be where the couch will be at utilizing this entire big slab of wall either as a feature wall to wall hang your TV or put in a TV console to have your huge 55 inch, 60 inch, 80 inch or throw projection screen right out here on this wall over here. Coming over on this side, the dining area space, the developer have put in a six to eight seater dining area set with a little bit of interesting light chandelier shining over here. You could do that as well. Coming back in, we're gonna talk about the kitchen area. Right, I think what I love about three and four bedroom is that it have a fully functioning dry kitchen outside, a full sink uh, mixer, your induction cooker, full oven if you would like to bake outside enough countertop space for you to do a lot of baking right on over on my left side we have what we call a smart mirror firstly you are able to check yourself out right secondly you are able to actually access a lot of internet function just over here over on the left side you can see that the developer has already given you right a wine chiller outside here you have more racks for your spices right you have your fridge over here, your second fridge. In fact, your first fridge will be built in inside the wet kitchen here. Right, wet kitchen here, it features a gas burner stove, right? We have three of them right here, a dual sink over on this side. And if you come in here, right, you'll be able to see that this huge uh, fridge over here Definitely enough for at least one to two weeks worth for a huge family. After we come into the wet kitchen area itself, we come into the utility come yard area featuring a window on the left side. This is your secondary egress and ingress, meaning that let's say delivery or a lot of uh, bulky items or furnitures will actually come in from the store and yard area. Of course, it features a fully functioning WC with washer. Of course, definitely we have to check out the four bader master bedroom because this is the most expensive unit, strata unit, right? Not, not counting the garden villa, right? Let's check out how it looks like, right? Come in. As you expect, full timber flooring, Space is not a concern here in Leiden Green Residence. If you come into the master bedroom itself, it is huge, right? There's only one word that could describe this place. It is huge, bright, breezy, full-length window. In the master bedroom, you're able to put in a king-size bed. 
or even a California king size bed, a much larger and wider one, two bedside table. Even if you want to put in a little bit of study area, dressing area over on that side, it is possible as well. Come on in, uh, let's check out the walk-in wardrobe area. Right, same as in the, the three bedroom, we have a huge walk-in wardrobe. In here, they have actually this her section. Over on this side, we have the his section. Right, with the jacket and the shirt, etc. Uh, we also have a, uh, this wardrobe. Coming into the bathroom itself, we can see that we have a his and her sink. One thing I do love about this is that it has a huge window over here. The developer have actually knocked down one of the wall to convert it into kind of like a study area within the master bedroom. You can imagine this wall has just been put up. You are able to still put in a good double bed or single bed over here, right? It's just that this is another sort of idea. You can actually have a study over here. Of course, wardrobe has already been provided for you in because it is supposed to be a bedroom. With, of course, all the bedroom comes with a full length window. Right, coming on in here, just beside the master bedroom itself, we also have the kids room, right? They designed it to be the kids room, a single bed, bedside table, wardrobe has already been done for you. This room, of course, is a common bedroom. It comes with a normal wall mounted AC. Still, you have the full length window, which I do love, right? A lot of uh, lights can actually come in, breeze as well. Coming into this space, just now where we are at, at the balcony, this room actually links out into the balcony space itself. Even I say, you take taken up our suggestion to separate out the balcony space area. This is a much larger bedroom as compared to the normal common bedroom because you are able to deck it out and enjoy this entire space and could alternatively be a study area in conjunction with your bedroom over here. All right, so all of uh, this three bedroom share this common bathroom. So it needs to be very, very good size. Pragmatically, we do have that window over here, a marble flooring, wall tile, and also countertop space. So all premium finishing that has already been done uh, by the developer once you collect your keys. All of the flooring that you see throughout this entire unit will be marble flooring inside the living and dining and also the master bedroom will be ducted AC. So it will be all seamlessly integrated and beautifully done out. Great high ceiling, right? That is really, really beautiful. And it's someone that's gonna come in here because of his freehold status to live for 15, 20 years to pass down to the next generation. I would love this place. All right, here comes to the end of part one of the Blockbuster series featuring Leaden Green. Stay tuned for part two, where we focus and dive deep into the numbers and investment opportunity here at Leaden Green. Right, so if you're keen to know more and would like to shadow a viewing here at Leaden Green or any other new launches in Singapore, do call me, KC at 8809-2889. Alternatively, follow us on all our social media platforms at HomeQuartersSG on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And remember, call home quarters and start packing. Choosing all um, of the appliances, uh, right? Uh, right, the oven, hood, and uh, hop, right, hood. <laughs>